Today we're gonna get the status display online with the E2. To do that, we have to tell the E2 that we have a facility status display. To do that, it's menu 772 F2 one time. You can see I've already added this status display here, one. Next, we have to look at the IP address. Take note of it. To do that, it's alternate T as in Tango. Gets you to the IP address screen. We're gonna take note of it, 2.2.2.2. .2 Subnet mask and default gateway, write them down. It's gonna be exactly the same in the status display. Go to the status display. Make sure it's powered down. Power it up. I am going to use a screwdriver to hold on to. It's easier to go through the little buttons because they're so small. We're waiting until we see exit loader. There it is. Press on it. And we're going to press start, settings, network and dial up connections, double press on EMAC1. You'll see it'll say specify an IP address. I've already done it, but you're going to um, put your cursor here, push the keypad. It'll be in the way, so you're going to get it out of the way, and you're going to type in 2.2.2.3. Is that's going to be the number is going to be one bigger than the one in the E2. The subnet mask and default gateway are exactly the same as what's in the E2. You're going to get rid of the keypad and press OK and then X in the upper right hand corner. We need to reboot. Now when it comes up, we're gonna look for the white box at the bottom of the screen. Here it is, press on it. It's gonna be 400 and then configure. In the IP address area, we're gonna back that out. And we're gonna put exactly the same as the E2. It says E2 IP address, so we're going to put in, if you remember, 2.2.2.2. Going to move the keypad and press apply. Let's see what happens. You can see here it's looking for the address. And guess what? If it came online. If you want to check this, if for sure it came online, go back to the E2 and press menu 771. And let's see what happens here. There it is, it came online.